This is the back stitch or the outline stitch. I'm going to work from left to right. You can actually work any direction that you want on this stitch. And I do one stitch, then I'm going to I'm going to work from left to right and so I'm going to come up a little bit to the right. And I'm going to come back down in the same hole as the last stitch. So the first little stitch, you do one direction and then you work um, down your line of stitching. This is um, called outline stitch or back stitch. A lot of times people will use them um, both names. Either name works. It curves nicely. And you just come up ahead and then go back down in the same hole. This is a good stitch for lettering or outlining. And I have the best luck when I stab stitch, like I'm doing right now, where you come up and pull your thread, and then you go down and pull the thread. But you can do the stitch by sew stitching if you'd rather. In order to sew stitch, I would have to work the opposite direction. Let me just twist this around after I get my knot out to show you how you would sew stitch. Okay, so then you would come up right here and go down in the same hole and come up ahead. This is call, called sew stitching because you're, you're going down in the, the same hole and up, you know, in the same motion, down and up. This is the easiest stitch to curve and still have the stitches look straight and not zigzaggy. For wool applique, I really do like doing this stitch around the outside of an applique piece. It kind of adds another layered look and I like how it adds another texture. Okay, when you want to end, you're just going to go down in that last hole and tie your knot off on the back. Okay, so there is a line of outline stitch or back stitch.